All right, guys, welcome back. And uh, a couple weeks ago, I did a review of this hidden compartment safe by Quick Safes. And uh, just recently, I decided to pick up a few more RFID cards. Okay, I just got these off the website. They're fairly cheap, and uh, they came just in the mail pretty quickly. So um, I appreciated that. And uh, so just real quick, to get these to work, as you can see, they won't open the safe right now, right? Because they're not programmed yet. In order to program them, you're going to need one of your original cards. So, all right, so what, what I do is I keep the you know one of the originals in my pocket or in my wallet on me or wherever I'm going to, you know, wherever I want it, and I know where that is, and I keep one of these somewhere secure. So if in case I did lose this one, I have an extra one somewhere else where I know I'm going to be able to find it and access the safe in order to program the new ones, all right? So let's just get to the, to the tutorial. And basically how you do it is you're going to open it with one of your existing cards. All right, that's going to open up. And it's hard to see on the camera, but there's a little hole on the very left-hand side where a paper clip or a safety pin or something like that will fit in there. And basically all you do is you're going to take one of your new cards, okay? And you're going to hold down with the paper clip. You're going to insert the paper clip into that little hole, hold it down for about three or four seconds, and it's going to start blinking and beeping at you, okay? Then you're just gonna hold one of these cards to there for about five seconds. It'll beep at you like f four or five times, and then it'll beep twice really quick, and then it'll stop beeping. Okay, at that point, this card becomes a master card for programming. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know if you could see that. This card that you, I just held up to here for four or five seconds becomes a master card. And you're gonna be able to use that to program the rest of your cards. Um, you're going to want to actually write master on that card. So I'm just going to do that real quick. I'll just put an M right there. That way you know that's a master card. You're not going to use that to open it up in the future. That card becomes a card only for reprogramming new cards. All right, now that you have your master card programmed, you're ready for the next step, okay? And the next step is going to be reprogramming your new cards that you have. Now just two quick notes before we begin. Um, the first note being, you always want to keep the safe open until after you have reprogrammed everything and finished it and then tested each card to make sure that the latch does go down and, and opens the safe, okay? That way, just in case you do do something wrong, you don't quite tap it right, you don't end up closing your safe and not be able to get back into it, all right? The second thing I want to tell you guys about is you're going to want to reprogram the new cards first, okay? So this is a new card never programmed before. You want to reprogram that one first. The ones that are originally in our, the ones that you had originally that were programmed already, do those second, okay? And I'm just gonna keep it simple, but just 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 do the new ones first, and then the ones that were programmed before last, okay? So what you want to do is just take your master card, you're just gonna tap it right there against the safe. When you do that, the safe's gonna the, the latch is gonna retract down into the safe. Take the new card first, and you, when you when I do this one, you'll see that it just beeps once, okay? So it's beeping once. And when you do the second one, this one's already been programmed before, it'll beep twice. Same as this one. Okay? Now you're going to take the master card, tap it there. That will finalize the, the programming and the latch will return back up, okay? Now you're going to test your original cards by tapping them against there. Right? Make sure that the latch goes down. All right, so you can see that all of them work for the safe. You can now go ahead and close the safe. And I'll, I'm, I'll show you again, it's just, just to demonstrate. Right, opens for that one. Second one works. It's really difficult to do this on this carpet table. <laughs> when it's in your wall, it's a lot easier to do because it doesn't have that resistance to push down on. All right, so now you can see that all three of those new pro those new cards, they work, okay? In the beginning, you see that they didn't work. Now, after I've reprogrammed them, they all work. Now, just a quick note, you want to take this master card and you want to put that inside of this case somewhere, maybe tape it on the ceiling or just put it in there um, for future use. Because in the future, it's exactly the same. Okay, let's just say you got like five new cards or two new cards or another card or whatever. 
All you need to do is take that master card out, tap it against this, and when you do that, the latch will go back down, just like you saw before. You just take your new card, put it there, program it, and then program the rest of your cards again. Master card again, same process as repeat. Um, if you don't have the master card, or if you just want to make a new master card, you can start all over again by pushing that thing into the hole. But that's just a little bit complicated. It's very simple if you just keep the master card somewhere safe and you're good to go. Anyway, guys, let me know if you have any comments or uh, anything you want to know about the safe. I, uh, I will be happy to make more videos about the safe. I really like the safe and it's a good product. So let me know in the comments below or subscribe and we'll talk to you later.